Hi, Porik here from Attitudes, and welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue off from where we left last time in the beginner series. This is part two, it will hopefully be a long series. Um, and today we're going to focus on using After Effects to create a very basic logo or intro, depending on what you want to use it for. As you can see, there's not much involved. Okay, we basically have a background, and we have a, sorry, a background here, and the text. Um, but there are a lot of effects we have to get sorted through, so let's start now. Okay, I'm going to create a new composition. Now, because we're not going to be using video for this, okay, we don't need video at all for this uh, tutorial, we're just going to go down here to create new composition and left click once. Now, you can call this whatever you like, left click and, you know, slide across to highlight the whole lot, and just call it whatever you like, I'll call it text. Now, this is all fine, you can leave this the way it is, that's perfectly fine. Okay, now we get a black screen, we get a blank composition called text with nothing in the timeline. Um, because we want to have a background for it, we're going to add a background, and how we do that is we go to Layer, New, Solid. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is name this background. It's always because you get into the habit of naming things. Okay, you can change anything you like here. Uh, sorry, you can change anything you like here, but I just leave it the way it is at the moment, so you don't really know what you're doing. Okay, click make com size, that's a good habit. Now, the color we want is black, so if you, if you want to make things easy, you can just see this eyedropper tool. You can just left click that, move it over to your preview window, and then left click. Okay, so we left click, move over to preview window, and left click. And that'll give us black. You can also left click in here. Okay, left click into this box, move the mouse, hold it down, move the mouse all the way down, and click OK, all the way. Same same effect, we're doing this different, two different ways. And we're going to click OK again. Now we have a, a layer in our back, in, sorry, uh, in our composition called background, and we're going to start working with this. Okay. Now, um, we want to add, we want to change the background. Black is pretty dull. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient, or an After Effects, it's called a ramp, okay? And how we do this is we go to Generate, here. You can type in ramp up here if you like, but I just like to go to the folders and explain. It gives you a good idea of what else is in there. So, we're going to go to Generate. We're going to go down to Ramp. We're going to left-click, hold it down, and move it over to a composition. And let go. And there you can see we have a very basic gradient, okay, but it's only black and white. So we're going to change the colors. Go to start color up here on the left hand side, where your, pro where your project window is, usually is. Um, whatever color this is, okay, just left click once your mouse is over the color. Now you can click up and down the, the sidebars here to get the kind of color tint you want, okay, but I want the kind of a nice blue, so I'm going to go for. Uh, that's perfect. So I'll click OK. And then we're going to go to the end color, click on whatever the color is, and again change it to what you want. Understand that whatever you click here, you can change also again in and here. See? So I'm going to go. I want a little, something a little bit brighter than the blue, but not not a, 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 a different color. So, um, but I want a different color. So I'm going to go somewhere here. Go a little bit lighter. Going to the left will always be lighter. Going to the right will be darker. Same with down and up. So I'm going to go a little bit to the left, that's just perfect for me. And I'm going to click OK. Now as you can see we have our basic kind of background gradient, it's a lot nicer now. Um, so we're finished with, with RAM for now. We're going to move on to another effect, and this one's called Photo, fin fil photo Filter. Excuse me. Now to get the Photo Filter, we're going to go to... Oops, let's close this. We're going to go to Color Correction. And we're going to scroll down till we get to Photo Filter. Okay, you're going to left click on that, hold it down, and we're going to drag it over till we get our X again. And let go. Now it might look like nothing's happening. That's because when you drag this over, you create the effect controls here, which is basically allows you to change anything that can be changed within the effect. And as you can see, this one's on Warming Filter. Now, Warming Filter is nice for, you know, different effects, and Cooling Filter is nice for you know what it does but we don't want that for now We're, what I suggest you do is go down to deep emerald and left click okay 
Um, you can change the luminosity if you don't want the glowing as much, and you can change the density and mess around with that if you like. But for now, this will do. Okay. We have to get on because we now want to create the text. Okay. And to create the text, we're going to go to this horizontal type tool up here. Left click once. Click anywhere in your preview window. And left click again. And we're going to type in what we want to come up. Okay, so I'll type logo. Now, you know how to do this in Word and in Notepad. Okay, we want to highlight this word why we have the text tool selected. So we're going to left click anywhere on the right side of the O. Hold down and move across till the whole thing is highlighted. Now, you can change the text font if you want in here. Okay, whenever you like. Um, and what we're going to do is here, in this here, okay, we're going to left click on this and we're going to type 1 and let go, or else move the slider left and right till you get to 1, which is tricky, that's why I prefer clicking in. Now, you have all the options here, okay, this, this here is to do with leading, and leading is mostly to do with if you have two words, so we don't have to worry about that for now. You have your text size here, you can move the font size up and down, and move it about there. And what I did here to get this effect with all the letters together, actually it's here. Okay, so leading, as you can see, if I stretch out, it increases the distance between the letters, and if I stretch back in, it brings them in. I like to do this sometimes, it gives a nice unique look to your, to your text and logos. So about there will do me. Okay, then you can change the color of the inside text by clicking, left clicking once to highlight this, left clicking again, and change whatever you like. Click OK once you're finished. And then on the bottom one here, which looks like a photo frame kind of, if you left click that once to bring it up, and left click again, you get a real time view of what you can change that into. So you'll see there that if I click around, it's all changing color. Now I want to keep it as white, but I urge you to m experiment with the colors till you find something that sticks out to you. Okay? I'm going to leave mine there. Well, now you can see that we have the text the way we want it. We can add bowls and different effects down here. You can mess around with that yourself. But for now, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to click on this. When you're finished with, with all the effects you want to do, click on the selection. Okay, the selection button. And I'm going to left click and hold down over the text and move it to where I want it. Okay, about there is good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a blur. We're going to go to effects and presets. I'm going to type in blur. And what I'm looking for is fast blur. Here we go. We're going to left click, hold it down. Remember, we don't want this on the background, we want this on the text. So we hold it down till we get to the text, and we let go. Now you have the controls for the blur over here, which basically is anything that can be changed within this effect. The options to do so will be here. And I'm going to change the blurriness just up a tiny bit. I don't want it too much. So left click, hold down on the orangey text, and move it left or right. And I just want to kind of take the edge off a bit, so. Now, I might even click in and do 0 0.5. Okay, that's perfect actually. So you can, if you want to, to slide, you left click, hold down, and move around. If you want to click, you just left click once. Okay, and then I'm going to type 0 0.5. Okay, now we're finished with that. Okay, we don't have to worry anymore. The next thing we're going to do is add a drop shadow. Okay, to give it a nicer effect. So again, I'm just going to type shadow, and there I see drop shadow, okay? So now you left click, hold this down, again, we don't want it on the composition, on the background we want it on the text, and let go. And there you see it gives it a nice backgroundy shadow effect. And I'm going to incre increase over here in the drop control, in the drop shadow controls, I'm going to increase the opacity, which is basically how dark or bright it gets, to about, to about there. And I'm going to change the direction by left clicking in this circular thing here. And moving it down till the black line is pointing down. Now you can also change the distance from the text to the shadow to give it a nice effect like this. I'll do it about there. Okay. And there you go, you can change the softness and do other things. And even for a funky effect you can just leave the shadow. But anyway, I'm going to click that back on. And we're going to go on to our last effect now. And this one is called glue gun, okay, CC glue gun. So I'm just going to highlight this over here, and I'm going to type glue. And there you go, we get CC glue gun. And again, I'm going to left click and hold this down. 
ignore the first bit of the outside text which is the composition bring it into the text and let go now your text will disappear don't panic if you go over here to the CC glue gun controls okay go over here to the stroke width this one here left click down on the at the RNG text hold down and move your mouse a lot to the right and you'll see that your text starts to pop forward now you can bring this you know you you can slide this to how you like you can have it back like a really big change effect just a slight change effect it's really up to you okay I'm just gonna bring it down to about uh, let me see about here okay it up now there you go okay you have a very nice effect we have a background that's a gradient we changed the colors to what we wanted um, we then added a a, ra a sorry a photo filter and we changed around so we got the nice effect we wanted on that we I think we used deep emerald and on the text itself we added a fast blur and we set it to 0 0.5 on the blurriness and then we added a drop shadow we changed the direction to down on the direction indicator and we changed the opacity to 70 percent we changed the distance to 10 and we didn't mess around with the softness because I, I think it works perfect the way it is we then went over to the effects and presets we typed in glue so we got CC glue gun we left clicked and dragged that onto our text and we then went to stroke width brought it to 89, 90 roughly and you can change the density and every all the settings you want there yourself but for this and for me this is basically what you know I was looking to do okay, we can see from the original composition that we changed the colors a little bit but again that's down to personal choice there's no strict way of doing it okay so there we go we have our logo and our background done now I want to ask you a personal favor um, I want you to to save this uh, image I'm going to show you how in a second and I want you to give me a link to it okay in, in the comment sections below this video to see how you're getting on so I'm going to show you how to save this now as a text file now if you want to preview your work always left click in the grey area here in your preview window and it will take all the dots and stuff away anyway we're going to go to composition now we're going to go to save frame as and then we're going to click on file now down here in the render queue you can see we have three options that we can click and slide but they're not really click and slide okay we're going to ignore all of them except you'll see here okay output module left click on that once now up here you have the options you can save it as now because I, we just want this as a basic kind of show your work to me I want you to left click on the format and go down to JPEG okay JPEG sequence and left click and that's it okay just click OK now to find out where you're saving it to go down to output to left click okay mine is in QuickTime because I saved my most of my logos there my, sorry my, my work my videos now in the file name okay just type in what you want you can call it text okay and JPEG and that's fine and click save now you have saved nothing all you've done is set the settings for when you want to render it and how we render it is we go over here to render and we click and that noise basically means that the file is now rendered and if I go to the QuickTime folder here we can see that we now have a JPEG called text and if I double click there we go now you can now take this yourself you can put it into you know use it for whatever you want whatever one you might logo or something like that for anyway thanks very much for coming to the tutorial I hope it's been of some use to us always and I'd really appreciate if you you know responded responded to this by commenting or sending a link to your text that you've done and um, the next tutorial we're going to have is on um, animating this logo but we're going to only use two keyframes so I'm really looking forward to that um, so for now if you want to save this you just go to file save as type in the name and click save okay but for now thanks very much for coming to the tutorials this is Corey Gevins from Attitudes saying thank you and see you next time